Hello. So, uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to try to replicate this exact graph on our studio. And how we're going to do that, we're first, first of all, you want to get your data sheet, which could be found in our, right here, in our search, in our search for me. And you copy paste that data sheet into our studio, and it would come out similar to this. Once you have that data sheet placed into our studio, you want to write this code up here, which I'll copy from And once you have that code run, you should have something like this. Now that we have the data set which we want to work with on our studio, we can then begin to try to replicate this graph to the best of our ability with the knowledge that we have so far. Which is, usually, which is mostly in aesthetics and fashion. So the first thing to do is to make the graph. So what we're going to do, well, all, all the code we're using right now is Qplot, but we're going to make a facet grid. Right now, and as you can see, the graph pops up. So we made this graph with FFMP being on the y-axis and CFMP being on the x-axis. Um, and then based upon that, like we now have like the basic format of the graph as you can see here. We have like, the next expression for the data in place here. And if you see our code, SFMP, SFMP, data x is represented by what we say the data that we put into our studio. And English is just like the main compression of the data. Now from there, we then want to move on to like adding color. Or like yeah. And now we've added color and our computer now to do a legend showing showing how like what the degrees of color mean which is very helpful. And then once we have that, we're then going to change um, this code, which just increases the colors, like makes the shapes bigger, which is something very important because, like, this, like once again, we're trying to update this graph. And before, like, the shapes were this, this, and now when we do this, the shapes have become bigger. Um, and then, who are then going to want to make it transparent. So this which makes it transparent. So we'll slowly down there. And once we do that, we're then gonna run this code, which will give the graph a title. And now we have a title. And then the next line of code that we're going to run is going to then just give a theme to the graph, and it also changes the background. So if we go back, you'll see that the background is gray, but now we've made the background white, so it's clear if you want to see the point. And lastly, if you notice, like we're literally, we have the same amount of data, but yet the graphs, if you look at this graph and you look at this graph, are different. And what makes them different is that this graph has a jitter function, like geom. Yeah, geom added to it. So now the last thing that we're going to do is run a code with that jitter function. And once we run that, we get. We now have the exact same thing. And that's 